We have a clinical trial that's starting to enroll in November. It will be at seven sites around the United States, and it's the first trial to look at the ability to prevent the onset of epilepsy in children with TSC, with tuberous sclerosis complex. So this trial was enabled by a biomarker study that was funded by the NIH that showed that babies who are diagnosed with TSC before the onset of seizures, and this can occur because either they're born to a parent who has TSC, so we know to look for the disease, or because they um, are found to have cardiac rhabdomyomas, or this tumor in the heart, even at prenatal ultrasound, it can be detected and a TSC diagnosis can be suspected. And so then if, it, if an infant with TSC is diagnosed within the first few years of life, uh, they can be followed by serial EEG, electroencephalographic recording, over time. And the biomarker study showed that those infants that develop abnormalities in the EEG can predict the um, predilection to develop seizures. And so a new preventative trial is being started where babies will be followed as soon as they're diagnosed with EEG at regular intervals. If abnormalities in the EEG that are suggestive of a potential seizure development in the future are detected, they'll be randomized to placebo or vigabitrin, which is currently approved for the treatment of infantile spasms. And the measurement then will determine whether or not those children go on to develop epilepsy. If they do, is it refractory epilepsy? Um, or um, do they have better outcomes in terms of development, in their developmental stages and their cognitive development? And all this will be assayed at two and three years of age down the road. So about two-thirds of children with TSC will have epilepsy within the first one to two years of life. But we don't know which ones. So this study using EEG, which is relatively non-invasive, uh, enables us to uh, test otherwise healthy babies and determine from the outside, from the EEG, whether or not they're at risk of developing seizures. It's not 100% predictive. Some may develop seizures even though their last EEG was clean. But we found that a, uh, an abnormal EEG is highly predictive that they will develop, they will go on to develop clinical seizures. So rather than wait and treat the seizures, we'd like to intervene earlier and see if that makes a difference. And we'll learn, you know, the, the, in the worst case, we learn that standard of care, and that is that treating with vigabitrin after infantile spasms, if that's the type of seizure they get, the treating with vigabitrin is, um, is no better treating early than late, but we might find out that even that earlier intervention before those clinical seizures have started could lead to better outcomes. And that's what we want to find, because if it does, then it could be worth doing. And in those, in those babies who do not develop abnormal EEGs, they'll never be treated. They won't be randomized. They won't be treated with either placebo or drug. They'll simply be followed. Um, and then that will serve as really the control group, if you will, for um, normal developmental stages with TSC in the absence of epilepsy.